Welcome to Das Geek. I'm just loving Fedora 33, and I was going to do, I still will do a whole video kind of just exploring, well, mostly GNOME 3.38, because it's just a fantastic release on the GNOME team's part, so congratulations to them. But Fedora 33 has just turned out to be such a great distribution, and I love that they have a focus on the non-proprietary software across the board. But in this video, what we're going to do is show you how easy it is to get Overwatch installed in Fedora 33. All you got to do is make sure your drivers are up to date and the rest I'm going to show you in these steps and then you'll see my terrible gameplay in Overwatch. But I love this game. I've had so much fun with this game. So I just wanted to share how simple and easy this is. Thanks to the work from the Lutris team. Thanks to the work from the Wine and thanks to the work from Valve for making gaming on Linux better than ever. This is so simple, you're not going to believe it. You're going to open your software store in Fedora 33. You're going to type in Lutris. You're going to go ahead and install Lutris and then launch it. Now, we need to install Battle.net. That is Blizzard's tool, their, their store essentially for all of their games, their launch center. So you're going to install Battle.net first. And from Battle.net, that's where we're going to go ahead and install Overwatch. Now, here are the links, instructions for functionality of, of Battle.net. So if you need your Vulcan drivers or other things, you can go here. But this is an NVIDIA card 2070 that I have. I did not have to install anything except for the NVIDIA drivers. And I did not have to do any of those additional libraries and things they had there. But you can go through those steps just in case. You're going to see this Wine Mono installer pop up about three times. And you're just going to keep clicking OK. Don't worry, it's not not installing the different services. You're going to see it go through. This installation basically setting up, I assume, Wine in the background, and then it's going to launch Battle.net. Now, it's not going to go this fast for you because this is all done through editing magic, but essentially you should see these same steps. You're going to see your typical Battle.net installation screen, just like if you were to install it in Windows. So it's going to look no different. And once you're done with that installation, you're going to go ahead and launch Battle.net. You can see up in the left hand side that wine system tray letting you know this is really running through wine. We also had Lutris turn on game mode. So we get some great performance here. Comes up with Blizzard's patch. We're going to click on the game we want to play, which is Overwatch. Once we click install for Overwatch, it's just a typical installation from here. Now, once we're done with the installation, this is where you're going to have to do some terminal voodoo. I'm kidding. There's none of that here. How amazing is that? This is just how far Valve and Code Weavers have taken us that we can just launch games like this. Now look at the bottom left-hand corner. It says compiling shaders. That is very important that you let that complete because if you start playing when that's not complete, you're going to have a lot of stutter and things like that. Now I'm not playing any sound because that'll get this video demonetized, but I am going to show you that I'm playing in 2K. I have it in ultra mode. This is the settings that it honestly set up for me. I didn't have to go in and change anything, but you could go in here and change the settings if you need to, depending on your system. And here I am inside Overwatch. How amazing is it? It runs so well too. Absolutely amazing. Now, if you jump into the game again, make sure that it's done in configuring those shaders first before you just jump into a game. Or if you see some stuttering and things, just know it's because that stuff is still installing in the background. Now I'm skipping around to different scenes just to get to some of the action here, but I've just enjoyed playing Overwatch so much and Fedora 33 made it so simple along, of course, by having all the packages and things that I need in the store, but along, of course, I just got to keep saying it. Thank you, Code Weavers. Thank you, Valve. Thank you for all of the incredible work you all have done for gaming on Linux so that I can enjoy this game with my son and my kids. Uh, a game that usually is Windows only, but I can play it anywhere. Thanks to all of the incredible work there and the Lutris team, of course, man, they are just so awesome. So that's how you get it set up on Fedora 33. It couldn't be any easier. And that's really the point of this video. There is no real trick here. You're just going through a couple steps all through a GUI and you're playing this amazing game that you're going to have so much fun with. Fedora 33 has just outside of just this game here, gaming on it, doing video editing on it, navigating through GNOME and the incredible work the GNOME team's done has just been an absolute joy. I love what Fedora is cooking here, and I think you're going to love it too. 
I honestly believe Fedora may very well be the distro of the year for me because it does all of these great things that you may see in some other distros. But the most important thing that this team does is they focus on open source software. That's in their mission goal is that focus on free and open source software. They'll let you use the proprietary if you need to, but that's not their focus. They want to get you on that free and open source. And that's why I love them. You know who else I love is digital ocean. Digital ocean is the absolute best cloud service out there on the planet. And they sponsor this channel and the entire destination Linux network. So head to do.co slash DLN and grab yourself a hundred dollar credit from digital ocean. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, that comes up if you like this video.